The guns are quiet now. The papers of peace have been signed. And the oceans of the earth are filled with ships coming home. In faraway places, men dreamed of this moment. But for some men, the moment is very different from the dream. Here is human salvage, the final result of all that metal and fire can do to violate mortal flesh. Some wear the badges of their pain, the crutches, the bandages, the splints. Others show no outward signs, yet they too are wounded. This hospital is one of the many for the care and treatment of the psychoneurotic soldier. These are the casualties of the spirit, the troubled in mind, Men who are damaged emotionally, born and bred in peace, educated to hate war, they were overnight plunged into sudden and terrible situations. Every man has his breaking point, and these, in the fulfillment of their duties as soldiers, were forced beyond the limit of human endurance. On behalf of the commanding officer and his staff of Mason General Hospital, I want to extend a hearty welcome to all of you on your return to the United States. There's no need to be alarmed at the presence of these cameras as they're making a photographic record of your progress at this hospital from the date of admission to the date of discharge. Here are men who tremble, men who cannot sleep, men with pains that are nonetheless real because they are of mental origin, men who cannot remember, paralyzed men whose paralysis is dictated by the mind. However different the symptoms, these things they have in common. Unceasing fear and apprehension, a sense of impending disaster, a feeling of hopelessness and utter isolation. May I have your last name? The psychiatrists listen to the stories of the men who tell them as best they can. The names and places are different. The circumstances are different. But through all the stories runs one thread death and the fear of death. And then after you got wounded, what happened? Same thing, only worse? Um, she not can my nerves keep getting worse, so. They get worse. These hair things, they bombed. Yeah. I got killed nearly the morning. You nearly got killed. Where were you at the time? St. Law, I believe, somewhere. Well, uh, I don't remember. And what, were you, what were you doing when the planes came over? I was in a hole. Mm -hmm. You know where you are? I'm in, I, I think I'm in the state now. They told me I was coming back. Right. But they told me I was going to die. On the hospital, I wouldn't eat hardly. No, you're not. I was sick. And I wouldn't eat hardly until me. I was going to die if I didn't eat. Couldn't help me. Well, told me they didn't care where I died or not. We will see if you don't die. You won't die. buddy up there, little Norman, he was second scout. I was first scout. And 
they were all mixed up up there. They were shelling us. And well, did that make you nervous? I, I should have been first scout. I'm first scout, and I should have been out in front. And he went out, and I started to go out after him, and he got shot. And yeah, he 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 just said, "Oh, Dutch, I'm hitting it, crawl to my feet," and and I start calling for the medic, and I went back to see if we get the medic, and there wasn't any, and I started to go out after him again, and they wouldn't let me go. And he was the last one of the original boys that, that was with me. He said, him and I were the last two left and out of the original. And, that and when you were shelled, how did you feel? Well, I don't know. It's just after Norman got, got hurt or killed, why? Uh, I was all right when we were moving up or attacking or anything like that. When we get pinned down, I start thinking about him laying back there. And, and then I, what I happened just, to you when you think about him? How would you feel? I just didn't care what happened to me. Do you mean you didn't want to go back into combat again? Yes, sir. I wanted to go back. I wanted to stay there. I wanted to keep on for him and all the other guys, Norm, uh, John and Stryker and Tex and Pop. And, and how do you feel right now? I feel all right. Have you been getting home? Well, fairly well, sir. Mm -hmm. You overseas? Yes, sir. Where? Uh, we were in France, and then we went to Germany. In where? France to Germany. Oh. And what uh, outfit were you with? I was with Headquarters Detachment, 50th Quartermaster Battalion, Mobile. Mm -hmm. I see your PFC. At present, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, you went had to go in the hospital. Sir? You had to go in the hospital. Twice, sir. It says here on your record from overseas, that uh, you had headaches and that you had crying spells. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe in your profession is called nostalgia. In other words, homesickness. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It was induced when shortly before the war. I received a picture of my sweetheart. Yes. I'm sorry, I can't continue. That's all right. Ricky, Ricky. Yes, sir. Uh, come on and sit down a minute. Now, a display of emotion is all right. I'm not doing this deliberately, sir. Of course Please you believe are not. me. I, I do believe you. Um, a display of emotion is sometimes very helpful. I hope so, sir. Sure, it gets it off your chest. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have been returned uh, as a patient if there wasn't something upsetting you. Yes, sir. Well, now, Sorry. you say you had, had received a letter from your... Um, Not a letter, sir, a photograph. A photograph, yes. Well, what, what, what about that now? Well, sir, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm very much in love with my sweetheart. She has been the one person that gave me a sense of importance is that through her cooperation with me, we were able to surmount so many